Hello everyone, it's me, Bo Chevisu. I am comparing my top three minimalist sandals. And uh, this the newer pair right here, these are from Earth Runner. These are Lunas, uh, made here in Seattle, Washington. As a matter of fact, look at how much wear is on those things. Yes, I am very, very familiar. My feet are used to wearing these thong type sandals, the, the ones that go between the toes. And then lastly, these right here are from Shama, uh, S-H-A-M-M-A. I r really like the leather right there. And I also like the grippiness of the, the canvas on here. This can get a little bit slippery when it gets wet. So, so anyway, I'm jumping ahead right here. I'm gonna go through a few pros and cons to each of these. Uh, now, first of all, uh, I'm just gonna jump right into these right here from Earth Runners. These, I would say, take the most time to get used to. Um, as a matter of fact, right here I've got on my right foot, I've got them on right there, uh, complete with my ugly, ugly toe. Yes, I broke that a long time ago. Everybody has an ugly toe if you do a lot of mission work, like I do. As a matter of fact, quick word, I love Jesus so much. I started my own nonprofit, Knock Studio. We are a nonprofit film studio, and we go all over the world, including some of the places that see these sandals have been. So I produce film for other nonprofits. I have been through Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica with these. Uh, Sierra Leone with these. These I haven't had the opportunity to actually get out besides just here in the United States. But yes, I've been all over the world with these things and I love Jesus. So anyway, you, I'm not here to preach at you guys, but uh, mainly just to talk about footwear because I love minimalist type footwear. So when I travel, I do a lot of uh, minimalist type packing because I don't want to weigh things down with Chaco sandals. Uh, Chacos are awesome, but man, they're basically half of a hiking boot. So they're really, really heavy. Uh, uh, let, let's start with the tread, shall we? So all three of them have the Vibram or Vibram, I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing that correctly, Vibram soles, uh, which are really, really cool. So they come with different varieties and different textures. I would say right here, these are the most aggressive that I have on the Earth Runners. Uh, check that out. So those, you are not gonna slip at all if you are walking on a trail in Colombia with these things. Uh, these, I would say, are more so for just around town. Uh, very, very comfortable, much more lightweight. These, they have, some, they have some heft to them. And then these right here are even more minimalist and lightweight. Uh, so if you're walking all day with these things, uh, these, you're gonna have to have pretty tough feet for these things, okay? So, so those are the bottoms. Uh, right now, I would say that all across the board, uh, each of them provide, you can just get on their own websites and it really just depends on how lightweight you want these things. I would probably go for uh, the more aggressive simply because I've been in some jungle type environments. And uh, if you have something slippery like this, you're gonna slip on some rocks and some roots. And of course, there is no protection on your feet when you're slipping on these things. So, so if you slip off just slightly and you're gonna smash your pinky toe or your foot on, uh, on a root. Uh, so grip is absolutely essential in my humble opinion. So go with a more aggressive grip, even if that means uh, you're actually gonna add a bit more heft to it, okay? So let's go ahead and flip this over. And I'm gonna say as far as comfort level goes, the Luna's absolutely the most comfortable. Look, look at that, I, see, I even have some paint on there from doing some uh, uh, painting project. Was that, was that Guatemala? I forget. It's been all over the world, these guys right here. Um, so, and, and I'm just gonna tell you right now why they're the most comfortable. So as far as straps go, look at how soft and supple these are. Those, so these are the Lunas. And then on the Shamans, look at how soft and supple that is. Then we go over here. This is like super, super stiff webbing. And it wasn't until I reached out to the really nice folks over at Earth Runners that they said, oh yeah, that's gonna take a little while to break that in if your feet aren't used to these kind of sandals. Believe me, my feet are used to these kind of sandals. Uh, you, you've seen how much wear and tear is on the bottom of these things. I've been all over the world wearing these things all the time. So anyway, it, it's not that my feet aren't tough enough and uh, it's really the fact that these straps are super, super stiff. So if you guys get Earth Runners, don't immediately go out on a hike with these things. Wear them for like an hour and then take them off. And then the next day, maybe two hours or, or whatever your comfort level is. Put some water on there uh, to really make this floppy and really just kind of try to break this part in. Because right now, you'll see that it pulls across. And as a matter of fact, you can almost kind of see a mark on my toe. See that right there? 
that's because it's pulling across and it's really, really tough uh, webbing. As opposed to, let's go ahead and flip uh, slip the shamans on for a moment, not fully, but, but check out the difference right here. Do you see that these go down and then they come to an anchor point right here and then they go off in different directions? These don't have that ability. It immediately starts pulling off in this direction up against this toe. So if, if Earth Runners has the ability to have some sort of point right here so that this is forced to come back and then Y out, that would be an awesome improvement to these things. But right now, it's just super annoying having that go over. They have improved over the last few days in terms of comfort just because the webbing is getting more floppy. But these things really are right out of the box, pretty darn comfortable, both the uh, shamans and the lunas. Uh, now, as far as the actual material goes, of course, it really does depend on how you outfit these things. Uh, because, you know, you can get, uh, see, it's very, very slippery having this leather on there. But it gets slippery when it's wet. When it's dry, it's no problem. It's actually really comfortable when it's dry. Um, they don't get super sweaty. Uh, these, the canvas ones, you can see a bit of wear on there already, even though I've only had them for a few days. You can even kind of see my toes and my footprints. Um, these are gonna get quite a bit of gunk on them and they're gonna be a bit more difficult to clean up. These are definitely the easiest to clean up and wash. Uh, these are the Lunas, um, but again, slippery. So as, as in terms of how grippy your foot is, these are the grippiness, grippiest on top. Then to the shamans, finally to the lunas. If I were to choose one of the surfaces, uh, I would probably choose the nice natural feeling leather. Uh, that just feels nice up against my skin. It just makes a lot of sense. Lastly, I am going to show you how you actually put these things on. I would say that the earth runners are the easiest to put on because all they have is one buckle. So if I were to slip my feet in, you will see that if I were to rotate to this side, all you pretty much have to do once you have it, of course, all tightened, uh, all you have to do is pretty much tighten that and then down it goes with this buckle. That is a great invention to have a buckle. As opposed to, let's get one of these. So these are the Lunas, these are the Shamans. Uh, let's, let's get the Lunas on. These, you kind of have to, of course, put them on as you would with the others, but they are Velcro. So see this Velcro? Eventually, that Velcro has to be tightened throughout the day and it doesn't quite stay in place. Uh, so of course, if you were to kind of, they, they've got a bit of adjustment up here and then the Velcro on this side and then the Velcro on this side as well. And it's virtually the exact same setup as the shamans. Um, the shamans, I would say, have a bit more softness around the ankle, but that really doesn't matter. Uh, these, this is pretty soft webbing on the Lunas anyway. So I would say in terms of, oh, which one is easier to slip on and off, I would definitely say the, uh, the Earth Runners, but um, this little ankle lock strap is pretty darn nice to have especially when you're walking around all day. The only downside is, is that it's Velcro. So there you go. Uh, I hope that this small little demonstration on, you know, some pros and cons to each of these things. If I were to choose one, I'd probably go with the Lunas. Uh, I know I said that the treads aren't very aggressive, but that's because I purposefully got very, very minimalist treads. But uh, if I were to try to get the Vibram type treads that uh, so the, these big stocky, bulky, chunky things that you see here on the Earth Runners. If I were to get something like that, the Lunas would be my absolute favorite. Uh, they they lock down pretty well. They're super comfortable. Uh, just keep in mind that as with all minimalist sandals, don't just go out on a hike immediately when you get them. You know, ease into them. Okay. So there's some feedback for you guys. I hope that helps. I would say Lunas, my top shamans, second place. And then Earth Runners, third place. Hope that helps. My name is Bo Shevisu. Links to these sandals are in the description below.